this old property was built in 1975. Now, uh, we have two options on it. One is actually to demolish the place and uh, build uh, one or two story building which will come in the near future, maybe in about three or four years. The other option is actually to try and renovate it because there are people staying in these houses. Uh, there are about uh, 15 tenants staying in the, in the houses. It's uh, still generating income. It's still inhabitable, and so that's why we thought it would be nice to just uh, try to give it a little bit of uh, face uplift and make, uh, make it more comfortable for the tenants who are staying there. So on this edition, we're going to share the tips and uh, show you how we do this. We're going to give you a little bit of uh, motivation. There are so many people with very old buildings uh, and they get confused about uh, what they're going to do or in uh, that type of scenario. Uh, it doesn't cost so much yet. I don't know, we've not done the amount of money which you're going to spend on this building but it, it's not something like over exaggerated, it's within limit. So I'll just take, take you around and show you some of the things that we're going to do. So the first thing is usually when it rains, the water, the water comes, comes here. When there's too much rain, the water comes here and there's too much spill into the houses which makes uh, it uncomfortable for the people who are staying here so we thought of just uh, extending this the the roof until somewhere here where we've dug the holes i don't know if you can see we've already we're already uh, doing posts so that's one of the uh, things that we're going to do and the posts are going to go all the way to the last end so that by the end of the day, this place will be covered and then the people will be able to walk and up and the rain will not be able to go in the house. I'll still take you in front here and show you some of the other finesse that we're going to, to put on this uh, property. Also, you can see that this is a kids are playing grounds. They're playing but the swings are quite old, so we're going to remove them and put uh, new swings so that it will be safe for the kids. It will be ideal for, for the kids to play around and get active and all that. So that's one of the things that we're going to do and also paint those uh, posts. There's also a bench here uh, uh, with a shed. You can see it's worn out. Uh, it's uh, got rust and all that. So, and the metal down there, somewhere here, you can see. The metal here, which has, uh, will, will have to be welded again just to make the place more stable and more comfortable. So those are some of the things that, um, which needs to be done here. And then maybe give it a little bit of, uh, paint a little bit, that's another uh, thing which this one needs. And then uh, the house too. If you look at the, the paint, it's old. I mean, uh, I've actually grown up in this area uh, from the time I was a kid. And I don't think, uh, I've never seen it being painted. I don't know, my dad just never did it. So. That's one of the other uh, small uh, uh, extras that we're going to do. We're going to paint the whole place. Now this is rough cast. We, are going to, we have a, a spray paint machine that makes it easier. It makes it fast. The job is going to be very fast. But here we don't, uh, this is oil paint, so we won't use uh, spray paint. It will be more manual with the brush and all that, which still works comfortably. Um, so that's gonna be cool. So you just come and check uh, more, more of the things that we want to do on this. Thank <laughs> you. 
we have our chicken moving around, so that's one of the, beauty, yeah, the beautiful parts. Mm. So anyway, as you can see, this is quite a big, big property. I think it lies on about uh, one and a half acre property. The other side, we've already worked on it. It was also very worn out. We've worked, we worked on it sometime last year, and uh, it came out so well, and that's one of the reasons why we got motivated to also work on this old house. I think uh, in about three or four years, this should be out and put uh, a story building and all that. So just now it's a little bit just what you can do to uplift the look of your property. So this part is uh, where they have their latrines and all that. So these ones are going to stay there. This, this part, we're going to remove it. This two, we shall smash it down and they're going to move on that corner. And why we're doing that is just to create a little bit more space because here we shall be building, as you've seen uh, in a short while, we have a lot of chicken around and uh, so here we plan to put uh, our chicken house where we'll be able to supply the family with eggs, they'll have chicken and also the kids love to see chicken uh, around so it's it, it's all a mixed, you, there's a lot of benefits we have it, with having a small chicken house on your property. So that's one of the things you should, you should think of if you have a property like this because you have to like uh, play around with what you can have. Uh, and those are the things which help to improve your your uh, passive income so they can they, they become quite necessary uh, so we'll just uh, what and that's uh, what we're going to uh, this uh, what basically we're trying to achieve is just to create uh, a sort of a country home uh, feeling that's what we're up to so it's it's nothing so modern but just with very small uh, with, with, with small changes, you can create any any type of feeling you want in your home. So I'll just try to we'll, we'll show you around and see and show you what you've done uh, previously, so you have an idea of what you can do, how you can improve your place, and uh, the small things that you need to think about. There's too much activity in this place. So anyway guys, this is a hustle a day. If you do like our content, please do support us, do like our video, uh, try to share it to somebody who needs this type of motivation and all that. I hope this video is going to motivate you, it's going to encourage you to like uh, do what you've been uh, thinking over years and you've not started. So this, is, this property is very old actually. I look at it, I hated this house, but something tells me it's gonna be okay. We're going to have three, uh, three sessions. This session today was just to show you a little bit what we're going to do on the next session. We shall actually be showing you the real, uh, uh, the real renovation work, how the, the muscle men are working, how we're working to make this place uh, look better. So otherwise, uh, thank you for uh, uh, being on the session. Thank you for listening. And uh, we'll see you in the next session. Bye-bye.